Renovating your bathroom is easily one of the most satisfying things that you can do. Breaking your bank account in order to do it though is not. So that's why the team at Suncorp pulled me aside and whispered sweet, sweet budgeting advice in my ear. Their challenge to me to transform my bathroom on a budget to make a big change for less. Well, Suncorp, I accepted that challenge and now I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Here's what the bathroom looked like before. bathroom looks like now. I could not be happier with this transformation. I managed to take a tired and daggy bathroom and turn it into a modern and fresh retreat. I am just so much happier spending time in this room now. And no longer am I embarrassed if I have guests around and they ask to use the bathroom. I managed to achieve a luxurious look, but did so for less. So let's break down what I changed and more importantly, how I saved money in this makeover. Time to fix the bathroom. What do we need? Everything. <laughs> so much stuff. So first up, the best advice I can give you when it comes to saving money on your bathroom renovation is to not change your layout. As soon as you decide to move a sink, a shower, a toilet or a bath, that immediately adds cost to your renovation. Why? Well, if you do those things, you're also gonna to have to arrange new plumbing, re-waterproofing, and retiling of surfaces. So, keep your layout the same, and you save yourself costs immediately, and you also save a lot of time. In this bathroom, look, I was not a massive fan of the layout, but it wasn't a total disaster. So I decided to keep everything where it was, but I did choose to upgrade the toilet and the shower screen both of which were beyond saving. And that made a big impact without needing to knock down walls or retire. If you keep your layout the same, it means that most of your changes will be cosmetic. And updating your fixtures and fittings is a really easy way to immediately transform the look and feel of your bathroom. In my bathroom, I was desperate to modernize the interiors. So I got rid of the old daggy gold fixtures and fittings that were a little bit broken and just not so good. And instead I opted for a minimal matte black look, which I think brings in a really nice contemporary feel. What do you think of the bar? It's quite good. It's it the is same quite as the one good. we had before. It is the same, but it's better. Like it's an improvement. When changing your fixtures and fittings, you can easily move those that are fastened to a plaster wall. Simply patch over and insert a new plug to your ideal position. I reckon I know what your job's gonna be. Spac filling. You love spac filling. I love spac filling. It's like your favorite part of I'm know. like the spac filling queen. Yeah, I reckon. This is a great option when adding towel rails, hooks, or holders. But remember to keep your costs down don't try to move any fixtures that are already positioned in wet areas like the bath, shower or sink, as changing their position is a lot harder and more expensive. Oh, oh it's um, like a little smiley face. Yeah, but it's a mouldy, gross smiley face. Yeah. We need to talk about tiles, because after all, tiles are a pretty important part of your bathroom and the color, texture, and pattern of your tile will have a really big impact as to the overall aesthetic of your room. If you're like me, and you don't like the look of your current tiles, but you also don't want the hassle and cost of relaying and buying new ones, then don't retile, repaint. It really is the quickest and easiest way to get new tiles without actually getting new tiles. New floor. Look at it. That's the last that you're going to see of it. 
Got the last bit. Last patch. If you decide to paint your tiles, then not all paint is the same. So make sure you do your research and ensure that you use a paint that is designed to cover tile surfaces. The colour you choose to paint on your tiles is totally up to you. For my bathroom makeover, I opted for a cool, fresh white to update the bath and shower tiles. And this was able to cover up a pretty outdated floral motif that I was not vibing at all. And for the floors, I chose to paint these a really light, cool gray to lighten the interiors overall and help create a feeling of space. The cost to repaint my tiles was $70 for the wall tile paint, $80 for the floor tile paint, $60 for a good primer, $70 for a gloss clear coat, and about $25 for cleaning and painting equipment. That's a total of $305 to transform all of the tiles in my bathroom. If I had bought new tiles and laid them for a similar space, it would have cost me thousands. That's a pretty good saving, if you ask me. What's happening down there? The age old dilemma of do I go a dark or light floor for my bathroom? Originally, like we were thinking of turning this into a charcoal cabinet, but now I'm not entirely sure if I want to go light or dark on the floor. And if I go dark on the floor, I probably won't keep that the same color because I think that's a bit much. I think I'm gonna have to mock this up on the computer. Whilst I would have loved a new bathroom vanity, there wasn't really anything wrong with the one that I had. So instead of spending money on a new vanity, try updating what you've already got. Choose a color that works well with your design theme and then replace your door handles with modern pools to complete the look. For me, I opted for a dark moody charcoal because I wanted a color that really leveled out the balance in here. There's a lot of white and I wanted something to match my matte black fixtures and fittings. I also also managed to find matte black pools to match. for your bathroom transformation. I really hope you found these tips helpful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you watch out for next week's episode where Suncorp challenged me to make change for less in the kitchen.